What's going on guys? Today we are going to be feeding a bunch of reptiles, including my black dragon, some snakes over here. Not sure where they are, but we are going to get to feeding them right now. So we're going to start with the black dragon. This guy's name is Grindle. Not sure if he is a male or a female yet. Hoping for a male, but the breeder thinks he might be a female, and I think he might be a female based on the head shape. So we are going to go ahead and give him a nice little quail chick. Come here, buddy. You want this? Come here. Come here, gotta come out of the water. So we'll figure out how to get that down. It looks a little bit big, but trust me, he eats one of those every day or two, depending on if he still looks fat. Um, today he wasn't looking too fat. I think I gave him yesterday off. So he will get that quail chick, or chicken chick, down in the next couple of minutes. So we're going to let him do his thing. Lock the cage back up and get on to feeding somebody else. We're going to go with the ball python now. So this guy has a little bit of an interesting feeding response. He hits really hard and he's really, really fast. Um, I think the coolest thing about him, he really likes drop feeding. So he likes when I drop it, I guess, because the quick motion, it sort of feels like the rat's running from him. He's all sorts of fired up here. I don't know if I'll even need to drop it. He's acting crazy. Don't need to drop it. There he goes. So he'll take that. Make sure this is locked. I always like quadruple check. Make sure all the cages are locked because the last thing I want is to find a snake not in its cage anymore and then not be able to find my snake. So I'm not really worried about them scaring me or anything, I just don't want to lose my snake. Now we're going to feed Miss Luna. All these guys are going to get upgrades pretty soon, which I'm super excited about. Here's Missy Luna. Focus. Don't you go in the water. I don't want her to drown herself, so there you go. Again, just making sure that's closed because I don't want to deal with that. Next, I'm going to feed my Kenyan sand boa. He's also an interesting eater. Sometimes I have to just leave his food out overnight because he doesn't want to come out. Sometimes he comes out and he eats right away. So we will see. He also shed, so I need to take his shed out relatively soon. Oh, he's out. Maybe he's going to get scared when I do this, but he is out. You can see his little head right there. So I should. I'm trying to get this in without scaring him. There we go. He took that nice and easy. So what I'll do... I'll just put the other one right in front of him, and then hopefully he'll get that in a little while. And I'll just close this up. This is really hard with one hand, but I'm trying. Okay. We got that all closed up. This is tough with one hand. I understand why people have people film for them. And then our last rat right here is for the emerald she just pooped tonight so these guys you got to be careful you don't feed them too much without them pooping or they can get really backed up and it's not good for them at all so i never feed her more than two meals per poop i'm gonna go down to one um she just pooped makes it easier because normally you want to remove the water in the bottom of their cage before you feed them because they won't really eat there's water down there because they like to go down to the bottom. 
So we're going to see if this little lady will eat. There she goes. She's got it. I don't know if you can see her. She got the head right there. So that is all good. We'll go back and check on Grindel, a couple of the others. It's really hard to put these back on with one hand. I'm doing my best. I gotta learn how to do this with one hand, because there we go. Push her back in. There she is. This guy took that little mouse into his cave. Luna still got this one wrapped up. Try to block the glare for you. She's in there. Peely's got this one. Derp thinks he's gonna get fed, but he's not getting fed tonight. You'll get fed uh, tomorrow, buddy. I think. Now let's go check on Mr. Grindle. He's jamming that down. So one cool thing about monitors, they also have that kind of flexible jaw like snakes. It's not quite like a snake, obviously, but they really can get some, some big food down. So this guy used to eat quail chicks, which are, for where I get them, way more expensive than chicken chicks. So once he was big enough to get these chicken chicks down, I switched him um, to save some money. It's also basically nutritionally identical. Um, you can get the chicken chicks and chop them up. That's what I do for my caiman. Um, so I could have done that with him. Probably should have. It would have saved some money, but it's kind of gross. <laughs> so every time, you know, these guys eat every single day when they're younger. So you got to chop up a chicken chick every day. Kind of gets a little nasty. With my caiman at his age, he's eating like every five days um, on average, I would say. So you do it once every five days, just suck it up. You know what I mean? It's not too bad. So I'm going to let this guy keep fighting with this thing. He'll get that down over time. I also have to feed my Lichianus gecko, but that takes forever. I do not think I can do that with one hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Mr. Grindle's going to get a lot, lot bigger. If he's a guy, he'll get even bigger. He's probably a girl. So I keep calling him he because that's just what I'm doing. This girl is still has this rat suspended in midair. Derp still thinks he's gonna get fed. What's up, Derp? He just hissed at me. Peely's getting this one down. Luna's getting that one down. Everybody is nice and fed. I'm gonna try to make these videos a little bit more consistently. I know that I've only uploaded a couple YouTube videos, but I am gonna start uploading more and documenting some processes because I am going to be moving relatively soon. So gonna be a lot of new stuff coming, a lot more content, a lot more going on. So I just wanna get this started, get in a habit. Um, obviously I post every single day on TikTok or I try to, <laughs> I, sh I should. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to leave a like, comment. If you have any ideas for future videos you wanna see, or any topics you want me to cover, anything like that, just leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.